Uh, question to the media, question to the international community, and question to those who perceive this video in a very negative way. Who is behind this? Who is benefiting from all of this? Who is the first person who put this video, who uploaded this video, edited version on Twitter? It was a guy named Yin San, probably a fake account with a history of a lot of post, pro-China, pro-China post. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to upload a research based video clip uh, done by the former Tibetan parliament member Losan Shila on the false allegation on His Holiness the Dalai Lama uh, and the Indian boy. So again, the question to media is, why isn't there any coverage about a possible involvement? But who's benefiting this? Who's involved in this? What has China done after all of this? China has, for the first time in many decades, uncensored the word Dalai Lama in Tibet. Why isn't there international news about this? Chinese diplomats, Chinese ambassador in uh, Sri Lanka has openly accused his holiness of sexual abuse. Why isn't there international news about this? Chinese state media has linked this particular story with other stories in the past and trying to build a pattern on this. Now we know clearly who is behind all of this, who is benefiting all of this. Because China has spent billions of dollars in the past six decades since they illegally invaded our country, billions of dollars to destroy a single biggest threat to them, who is His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And they couldn't succeed. They couldn't succeed. And now they're taking the help of social media, where people are so exposed to so much negativity, so much controversy, so much of sensational news that international community people find it very difficult to believe that there exists a person who could be as pure, as compassionate, as transparent as His Holiness the Dalai Lama. The initial video was live streamed on February 28. Thousands of people watched it live. 
And from then on to the time when this person posted on Twitter, there was a time gap of more than one month. Nobody raised issue between this time gap. Why? Because those who watched it live stream, they watched the whole story with whole context. And they didn't find anything as the media has uh, accused to be. So I'm hoping, because I, I, I think we all believe in sense of goodness. There are, I hope there are more people who believe in understanding the whole context and whole story than a 30 second clip. And I also want to send a message, I mean, not necessarily me, but we are gathering here today, Tibetans across the world, as in India, we saw Ladakhis, Arunachal Pradesh, thousands of people came there. Who knows Dalai Lama best? Tibetans, we have known His Holiness for a long time, our, in our whole lifetime. Is there a single Tibetan who is misinterpreting this? No. So do they think the Tibetans don't know His Holiness? Unless they are accusing us of not understanding, not recognizing His Holiness, when there's no legitimacy to this story. So we are here, if anybody wants to go through His Holiness, go to His Holiness attacking, they have to go through millions of Tibetans. And I'm here. Thank you. Yeah. Any, uh, once again, I would like to thank you because if it wasn't for Shonu Sokma to organize this, we wouldn't have showed up here. So thank you very much. Yeah. And I hope this information will be really helpful to the so-called social medias who has no investigation, no research, and they just rushed after the edited video clips of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Indian boy. So I hope the so-called social medias, including uh, and the TV will learn something from this information based on research. And I'm really very much saddened by seeing that NDTV has removed the recent uh, former Sikyong's interview on NDTV. Uh, my, Master Day, I just want to say that the news coverage of, you know, His Holiness Dalai Lama and the boy by NDTV has hurt the Tibetans and people in Arunachal Pradesh, and hopefully in the future, you know, NDTV will be a bit sensitive, you know. That's our request, because we love India so much. When it comes from India like that, it hurts us more. All right. Uh, Dr. Lop Sang Sangye making that uh, statement there with regards to the viral clip of the Dalai Lama. May thanks, Dr. Sangye, for speaking with NDTV. <laughs> We are shedding our tears and voices for the defending of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And our tears are not just tears. It is the symbolic of how much devotion we have to His Holiness the Dalai Lama. <laughs> And here, I also would like to thank you to other people of Tawang, Arunachal Pradesh, Ladakh, Spiti, and all the Tibet support groups and supporters all around the world and my dear fellow Tibetans. And we have to fight together. Thank you very much.